Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to solve the question answers from the 8th standard English subject, the unit 2, Sir C.V. Raman. Friends, if you are channel and subscribe, please subscribe. Even the video, I comprehension part 1, 2 and 3 and complete martini next to video the league grammar and complete agi explain martha martha grammar part and nano video martini so bunny nimma textbook na 19 page number hatham batrali comprehension part 1 c1 and taide other questions karana first to solve marana the first question is who were raman's parent the answer is Raman's parent were Chandrasekhar Ayer and and Parvati Ammal. Raman's parents Chandrasekhar Ayer and Parvati Ammal. The second question is why was Raman not able to attend school regularly? The answer is Raman was not able to attend the school regularly because he was often ill and sick. He was often ill and sick. The next question, where did he complete his intermediate examination? Answer is, he did his intermediate examination from Hindu college at Vishakhapatnam. At Vishakhapatnam. Next question. What subjects did his relatives advise him to take BA? Answer. His relatives advise him to take history and economics for BA and also social that to give up science. Next question, why could not Raman go to the United Kingdom for higher studies? The answer is, Raman's health broke down and hence he could not go to the United Kingdom for higher studies. Next is C2 part. It is in your uh, textbook page number 21. Answer the following questions and share your responses with your Partner, how long did he work at Calcutta University? The answer is, Raman worked for 15 years as professor at Calcutta University. What made Raman give up the highly paid post of special accountant general? The answer is, Raman was offered the post of professor at Calcutta University. So, he resigned his highly paid post of special accountant general and became a professor. Next question. How did the Soviet Union honor him? The answer. The Soviet Union in the year 1957 honored Raman with the prestigious international Lenin Prize. The next part is C3 Comprehension Part 3 which is in your textbook page number 22. Read the following questions before writing the answers. Discuss your responses or ideas with others in the group. The first question is what makes you think that Raman even as boy had great interest in science? The answer is Raman was very much interested in science. From his childhood days, he had made the model of dynamo at his young age. During his school days, he borrowed science books from college students and read them. All these incidents make us to think that Raman, even as a boy, had great interest in science.
The next question. Why did Raman's relative ask Raman to take up art subject? How did Raman react to it? The answer is, when he joined Presidency College, Madras, for his BA, his relatives wanted him to give up science and take history and economics, it means art subjects, but Raman had made up his mind to study science. So, he took physics and secured first rank with number of prizes. After his MA again, his relatives asked him to take up same arts subject in competitive examination in Calcutta. Raman agreed and took the same. He did well with new subjects and got first place in the competitive examination. The next question is what was Raman's first disappointment in life? The answer Raman wanted to go to the United Kingdom for higher studies in science after his MA. At that time, again his health broke down and he could not go. This was the first and greatest disappointment in life. The next question is, why was Raman not happy with the post of Deputy Accountant General? The answer is, Raman wanted to become a scientist. That was his life's ambition. But circumstances forced him to become Deputy Accountant General. His love for science was so intense that he felt like a fish out of water. Unwillingly, he was doing his job. He was waiting for an opportunity to leave the job and become a scientist. This is the complete answer for the question number 4. The next question is, how can you say that Raman had not lost interest in science when he was the Deputy Accountant General? The answer is, after becoming Deputy Accountant General, he had contact with scientists and he took interest in science. One day, when he saw the banner of science, he got off from the moving train and went to meet the scientist who had gathered in that building. When he was in Rangoon, he heard that an institution had bought a piece of modern scientific apparatus. He hurriedly went to have a look at it. By these two incidents, we can say that he had not lost interest in science after getting the Deputy Accountant General post. Friends, if you are not channel to subscribe to our channel, please subscribe, like, share. Thank you for watching my videos.